So as you see, I am back with some more Unravel gameplay. And this game is officially out today, folks. And the price tag on it is only $19.99. So make sure you check it out. And if you have EA Access, you might even get more of a discount. I'm not even sure. But as you see, I'm bringing you levels 3 through 6. Just a couple puzzles that I found that were some of my favorites. And also some of the most difficult so if you're having trouble with the game, you know, you can check out the video. I'm not going to bring you the whole level because I want you to experience that for yourself. And I'm sure there are walkthroughs and other stuff that will show you the whole game if you are having trouble with some of the other puzzles that I do not show. Now, I'm not really going to have any spoilers in this. Just showing you a few puzzles, like I said. Now, if you don't know what this game is all about, you see I'm using this yarn character. That goes by the name of Yarny. Now Yarny is composed of one single strand of yarn. As you're going through these levels you are unraveling. Hence the name Unravel. So you do at times have checkpoints where you're getting more yarn. And you're pretty much getting your yarn back. You know what I mean? Because when you're going through these puzzles and levels. And look at me I can't even get the log up here. But as you're going through these levels and puzzles. You are losing your yarn. Now the environments, as you see, nobody can question how awesome these graphics are. They are absolutely beautiful. And as you see some of these other levels that I'm about to show you, you will see like how all of them are so, so different. As you see, I'm moving on to level four. So if you didn't know, the developers of this game are actually in Sweden. I believe it's called Coldwood Studios. And they said the inspiration from these environments came from Northern Scandinavia. So, I, you know, I'm pretty sure they actually went out there, looked at the environments, took pictures, and they modeled these beautiful environments after some of those lush environments in real life. So, pretty cool stuff there. And you remember in my last video, I told you that animals can take a part in some of these puzzles. As you see, I had to get that animal to move back so that I could get this little boat. And I'm going to try to cross the water, but that's not it. There's a fish. Holy moly. That. Hey, we need to come out here and go fishing. You see how big that bad boy is? But what I have to do is hold on to him, and he's going to pull me across the water. So pretty cool stuff there in level four. I'm going to show you one more. Oh, look at that. <laughs> and there I am getting some yarn, and I'm at another checkpoint. So I'm still in level four, and he's trying to get his revenge. Check him out. He coming back. He don't like the fact that I was squirting that poison all up in his face, you know what I'm saying? So he trying to eat me, he trying to eat some yarn, yarny, I'm pretty sure this yarn doesn't taste good. I don't know why he trying to do that, but look, he like fell off the ledge right there. So I am gonna move on to level five. This one's called Off the Rails. Now the thing about this level is, it wasn't that hard to me. Like some of these levels are harder than others, and it seems like they vary they all have different puzzles, but in level 5, most of this stuff was dealing with like gears and chains and all that great stuff. As you see, I had to pull that down and I'm going to make my way around this. Now, the buttons of this game are really easy and in level 1, they actually give you a tutorial. I told you that in my first video. They do give you a tutorial on, you know, you're going through the level and they're telling you what buttons you need to press, this and that, ways that you can get through these levels. Because you have to use like every aspect of Yarny to get through these puzzles. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when you play this game. There are all kinds of things that you can do with this yarn. And I'm telling you, you're going to have to do it. <laughs> you're going to have to do it. And look, I didn't know all I had to do was go right right there. So this is another part of level 5 that I liked. Even though you see I'm falling off, about to get smashed. But all you pretty much have to do is get across these. But it's a little harder than you think, man. I don't know. I couldn't make it across, but I finally do. It took me probably like five minutes to get across that. But, of course, I cut it down just so, you know, I wouldn't have a lot of dead time in the video. So, I'm moving on to level six, the final one that I told you I was going to show you in this video. And my next Unravel video will be later today. I am going to show you level seven through ten. Also, there's like a bonus level that I will include in that video. But I'm just going to show you some puzzles. I'm not going to ruin the story or anything like that for you. I just want to bring some puzzles as I am in this video. You know what I'm saying? So you see, this was like one of my favorites in the whole game. 
I really enjoyed this puzzle. There was a few things you had to do right here. So, I mean, if you don't want to see what all I did, then, you know, click the video, leave a like, and try it for yourself. But this was pretty cool. Um, some of these things were tough, like I said. And this one took me maybe two or three times. But then I pretty much figured out what to do. It's not that hard. Once you get the hang of the game and you know what all you can do with your yarn, because I'm telling you, you're going to have to use that yarn for everything. You know what I'm saying? And you will see exactly what I'm talking about when you get into this game. So I'm going to leave you with that. Make sure you check out my playlist. I do have a playlist for Unravel. And I'm going to bring you level 7 through 11 in a little bit. That nasty. Peace.